Hello and welcome to this introductory video to my virtual academy in Second Life called Communicate What You Think, where I teach English at all levels, especially aiming at the Spanish audiences that want to improve their communicative skills in that language, starting from the beginner's level up to proficiency. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am Maria Concepcion Pomar Rosselló. I have a, a degree in English Philology and I am also a university professor online. I have been for more than eight years already teaching in the English mention of the degrees of preschool and primary education at VIU, Valencian International University, a university that is a pioneer in implementing a 100% online methodology in Spain. My current subjects are history, culture and society in English-speaking countries, English linguistics, English literature and didactics, and also CLIL, the CLIL methodology, content and language integrated learning. I am also currently doing my master's degree, finishing it, and uh, this academy is going to be part of my final project to get my master. So first of all, let me tell you a little bit more about Second Life. Second Life is a social network in which you can interact with many speakers of English as a second language or as their native language. There are many people from the USA, from Europe, from all parts of the world and there are many educators here using uh, the platform to teach particularly coding and all kinds of subjects giving seminars but it is very useful as well for language teachers because uh, there are many elements with which you can interact and it is a uh, gamified as you can see this is my avatar it is a gamified platform. I can mention three groups of teachers here, of professors, that are in Second Life, with which I am currently collaborating. First of all, the Science Circle, that are a group that have events weekly or twice a week even. Then we have also Virtual Worlds, best practice practices in education. This is a group that has a big event yearly and I am currently mentor and host for them and I am also part of the group Virginia Society for Technology in Education. In education sorry. Uh, I am also a member and these three educative in groups and institutions here in Second Life are committed to spreading knowledge and teaching in this virtual environment. I have created this academy because I believe that language learners are much more motivated and much more relaxed if they are learning the language in a gamified environment, which is also funnier for most people uh, using gamification and also much more attractive and easily accessible because Second Life is free unless you want to go premium or purchase land and everybody can join and interact with different kinds of maps, historical maps, maps that recreate ma landmarks from many parts of the world and buildings and there are many opportunities uh, for description and narration. So uh, I also have to say that my academy is situated in a general sim or a general map, which means that it is highly regulated by Second Life's members, staff, and it is a perfectly safe place for uh, students that are uh, teenagers onwards. So without further ado, let me show you this space and I will tell you more about my thesis that learning language in a aesthetic 
and pleasant environment is much more effective than just through um, platforms like Moodle or other platforms that are not so visually appealing. So let's get started. This is my academy, this building. As you can see, it's a beautiful uh, stone and wooden building, highly decorated. There are many spaces here, many flowers decorating and many spaces in which the users with their avatars can interact, for example, sitting in this nice bench and chatting calmly in, <coughs> in the area with other native speakers of English or learners of English as well. You can see, please let me use the magnifying glass that the decoration is very important. You can see these nice laptops on top of this wooden table that change their screen. There are also papers on the table. There's also a pen holder. The same objects that you will find in, a, in, a, in an academy building. So, as you can see, there are many windows you can see inside easily. There is one blackboard here, one notice just announcing the, um, the academy. There are also many posters on the wall. For example, this poster here is scripted. It leads to my LinkedIn. Okay, you can easily go to my LinkedIn if you want to know more about me and you also have my real life picture here and these three posters also are group joiners. Uh, they are uh, posters that if you click on them you join the three groups that I have already mentioned uh, devoted to education here in Second Life. So let's go inside. This is the main grammar classroom, or I like to call it my grammar classroom. So you can see there are uh, black poles on the wall. Uh, there, there, there is a projector here, classroom chairs and sofas, so that the students can sit on the chairs, not many chairs but they can also sit comfortably on the sofas if they want to listen to the lesson. More plans. So you can see that the, the aesthetic is very, very important. These chairs are animated. If you sit on the chair, you have many options to choose the right animation for you. By default, it um, uh, a tablet appears in front of you and it appears as if you are listening to a lesson adding interactivity and the gamification uh, element then there is this projector I can also sit here in this projector and I have many options uh, you need to know a little bit of programming to play in Second Life and create your own space, right? And you have the options to show the slides, to lecture, to erase, and to write on the projector as well. You see the animation, you can see me managing the projector, and you can also present here. You sit here. Sorry for that. And it looks as if I am explaining some contents from the slides. That I am also, I am only having one slide so far, my logo. But I plan to create more material soon. Then you have a series of blackboards on the wall. You can see these beautiful sculptures are well for decoration. They are also good to encourage description with plants to create a nice psychological effect while learning. This blackboard is an exam, basically a grammar exam. Uh, after finishing all the most basic lessons related to 
uh, English as a foreign language, the English grammar, right? Knowing about the uh, irregular verbs, the passive voice, the indirect speech, etc. Then you also have some uh, small black balls on the wall. Each one of those has uh, one test, one exam about the topic written on the blackboard, simple tenses, continuous tenses, perfect tenses, irregular verbs, so that the students, when they feel ready after finishing a lesson, they can practice and see uh, how well they do in these exams. And then you have these two big blackboards that are not actually blackboards, they are projectors as well. You can set up the options and also turn the slides left and right. This uh, is an image. It, they are not blackboards. It's an image taken from Canva. It's a template that resembles a blackboard. And as you can see, currently I have loaded a presentation on the very basics on the present simple, but I can also include images right describe yourself with examples encouraging discussion and on the other projector there's the grammar so you can uh, teach with both projectors at the same time how the present simple is um, is made right is used the, the grammar of the present simple. Then you also have more blackboards. There is this uh, blackboard that changes the text uh, from just uh, one minute or so and it changes the text and it's basically the presentation of the space. You can see all the different color chalks, the eraser resembling a real blackboard and it looks very nice. If we wait a bit, say that the text is changing, it's advertising another of my areas here in Second Life, which is Princess Eleanor's Castle, uh, in which I have also role plays related to literature, writing, etc. Then I have this ball here, this sphere, which is a harder exam. This exam uh, is for proficient students and it is about literature, historical figures, historical events of the English-speaking countries. So that um, you can uh, take this test, this sort of test, as if it was a game, everything is gamified, and uh, check your knowledge after finishing a lesson. So this is basically this alternative, this virtual uh, uh, space for learning the basics and grammar. You can see more sculptures, more flower pots. This is a radio, right? You can change the music. For example, if you want to teach about the culture of the 80s, you can choose uh, a radio station about the 80s. And if we move forward, we go to uh, another area of the building, you can see all the decoration is car very carefully planned uh, so as to uh, create a very nice environment in general with all these bookshelves, with all these books, they are very detailed, you can even read uh, their titles um, from the spine of the books, then we move this way I'll show you all the, the building, all the academy. You have pictures of UNED, where I'm taking my master, where I got my English Philology degree, and also VIU, the university where I teach. And as you can see, you can post your own pictures as well here in Second Life. This is a picture of me with my husband in front of uh, the building of uh, VIU, Valencian International University. More bookshelves with decoration. Um, 
and more books. Uh, some of these books uh, you can interact with them. Whoopsie. More uh, notebooks here to make it beautiful. Let's look at the detail of this sculpture. And this is the discussion, reading, speaking, and listening area. Whereas the other room is more devoted to grammar teaching, this area has a nice YouTube TV in which you can play all kinds of videos. I will sit here in the chair up front. Uh, let me see if I can activate it to show you how YouTube videos are loaded. Let's give it a couple seconds to load. Sometimes it takes just a few seconds to load the contents. Well, while it is loading, I will show you that you can play your YouTube videos. It is loading now. For example, let's take an example that you want to teach and discuss about the Tudor dynasty. So you can play a video here. You can use these two slides. You see more projectors here Hola, to teach amiga. material about the, tu the Tudor dynasty after watching the YouTube video that you want to show. So you can see it's very versatile. Hola, amigo y amiga. Right now, you are watching at a video that I created with Tunli, which is my favorite tool for creating videos for the younger audiences. Tunli is perfectly safe, even for very young students. And well, I'm going to continue showing the space. The students will sit comfortably on this sofa. You can see more sculptures, nice views from the buildings of my neighbors. It's a very nice and safe space, general theme. And on the wall, you can also see two more posters that lead to Prezi presentations. One is about the history of the English language and culture from the very early ages, the early history up to the, the, the current days. And the other one is about linguistics, language learning, theories uh, related to language acquisition uh, as a first language or as a second language. Then you also have these notebooks around the, the area, which are useful because the, use, the students can drop their writings here on these notebooks and I can correct their writings and tell them their mistakes. So it is also a very good tool, a uh, scripted tool to uh, receive the student's assignments. There is also a pin board, more projectors, more tests uh, as other um, blackboards on the wall, more blackboards. So it is a nice learning space with a nice view. It is very fantastic, as you can see, it's a lot of fantasy to have your virtual academy here in Second Life and decorate it as you consider suitable. And then there is the outside space. Let's take a look at it, which is for uh, carrying out assignments in groups. and discussing and practicing the speaking simply. You can see that uh, they are very comfortable spaces with poofs, 
more computers for decoration, pen holders, uh, nice tables. There are also armchairs here in which the students can sit. Several people in these uh, on these armchairs with tablets on the tables, more flowers, more views to my neighbor's building, which are very nice. This poster leads to uh, my CV online, which is a Prezi. And as you can see, there are plenty of spaces in this comfy uh, poofs to see it. This poster leads to my witch page. I have many online CVs. <laughs> I collect them. And that's basically the building of the academy. But there is also the addition of uh, a garden that I built for just uh, decoration and relaxing. Uh, after finishing your lesson or if you want to carry out an assignment and you want to be in a more natural environment while you are working, you can immerse yourself in this beautiful garden that I built. There are swings, as you can see, garden swings in which you can see it. And uh, in front of this garden, you can find a castle, which is a future project that I have. In this castle, on the walls, oopsie, There was a little bit of a glitch here. Sorry about the glitch. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to load. You can see this nice waterfall. I built everything from scratch, selecting every item from the garden, from the academy, and decorating. And you can see this nice stream of water. It's freshwater spring. And there is a castle as well in which I will present the assignments that I ask my students to do. Right? As you can see, I'm flying now. In Second Life, uh, flying is as natural as walking in most areas, not all, and as you can see, it is very, very nice and aesthetic to present your projects at a castle, for example, a virtual castle. You can see it, it's a big castle. I hope to fill it with assignments from my students soon, and this is a nice general view of the academy from the air. One second. Let's zoom. So this is my project and I hope that it is very successful and that I can help many people uh, overcome their difficulties, uh, particularly the psychological difficulties, being shy, being insecure about practicing their foreign language uh, skills, and in which I can collaborate with all these groups that I have told you about of teachers and professors that work here in Second Life that are already very experienced in working here and teaching here and also to relate with native speakers of English and keep on learning because I still have a lot to learn and a lot to improve. And that was basically it. 
I hope that you have enjoyed this video presentation and if you want to contact me just leave me a message here on YouTube and I will contact you for any educative needs that you may have or any educative project related to Second Life and uh, you can also email me uh, it's very easy to find my email just google my name and well that's uh, all for today soon I will record lessons and I will also post them on my YouTube channel thank you very much for watching I hope that you have enjoyed visiting my online academy in Second Life. Hoping to hear from you soon. Kind regards. Bye-bye.